Okay, how's it going everybody? So this is the first task that I discussed in my roadmap that we are going to cover in this video. So I will look into completing the installation flow from the Shopify app. So the first thing that I will do is I will add a string attribute in my stores table. Um, so if you can see my database. So in the, our email column, there is no value in here right now. So let's add this uh, functionality in the installation controller. So we are capturing the email. So I will simply add this right here. So after that, we can uh, start capturing our emails. So after this uh, completes, so what I want to do here is, uh, where does my installation complete? Yeah, here it is. So at this point, the installation flow is complete. So here I want to customize some things here. So here I want to do is uh, in the session, I want to flash this message that installation for your store shop details name as completed please log in So let's take the session facade right here. There we go. And so I want to re redirect the user to the login page. Or should I say redirect route login? Yeah. That makes more sense. And yeah, that should be it. Okay. So when we created the stores table right here, the one thing that we glossed over was the users table. So Laravel uses the users table as the base table for its uh, authentication and uh, account verification. So let's add this functionality right here. So what we could do is we can take this email that we are getting from Shopify store and with the same email, we can create a row in the users table and we can generate a random password. So let's do that. So in this function, we are updating the store table. So let's do a user's payload. So user payload equals, um, we can do email equals shop details email. We can do password equals str random let's say 10 characters hmm. I think there is no So what we will do is support str right here. So before I generate this password, let me log this. So random password equals because I don't want to miss out on the password that we generate for this particular instance. And let's log it. Log info. Password generated is password we don't have to worry about the encryption of this password because the user's model will take care of itself by itself I meant so let's do let's capture this store ID right here so store db equals store update or create so what this will do is uh, whichever row it gets created, it will return back in this variable so we can access it. So let's do this store ID equals store DB arrow ID. So what I want to do here is I want to add a store ID column in my users table so I can point it at uh, the stores table, this table ID column. Oh, so I should say table ID. Yeah. 
after that let's see which yeah so there is name email email verified at password remember token created at updated at so let's do the name um, that is optional but let's do it anyway shop details email. and we can say email verified at is date y n d h i s so this will take the current timestamp and it will mark the email as verified in the database and let's do this user update or create user table oh i'm sorry shop details and we will create this user yeah so what this should do is uh, after we capture the data uh, we store and we do this so it should create an equivalent users entry also so let's try this out let's see what happens so here i'm at the install page already so we went through the installation procedure in our previous video so let's click um i'm sorry so let's do this php artisan migration add store id to users and in the table flag i'll mention users so let's make this migration oh, i'm sorry oh i'm sorry so instead of migrate it will be migration yeah so i can say table arrow big increments oh no i can i cannot say big increment i can say big integer store id available after email and after that i can just do php artisan migrate there we go and inside my users table yeah there we go the each store id column okay so let's install the app quickly let's do php artisan optimize to clear out anything that we might have and let's hit install so this happens because of ngdoc don't worry about it Or should I say HTTPS? Yeah. So I should have mentioned HTTPS because if it if you remove it, Chrome. Okay, so it did. It did work. Okay, so mm -hmm. I figured out the error in my user dot php model. I forgot to add the store ID in the flavor array. So if I add it here, now it should work. So let's close this out. Yeah. Let's uh, do one thing. Let's uninstall the app and let's install once again. So I will go to apps settings. I will remove the app once again. Then I'll go back to the app setup page in my partners account and let's install the app once again
here we are let's do php awesome optimize and close this entire thing out yeah and here we go so let's check out stores table it seems fine let's check out the users table and now I'm getting the store ID here okay so the email verified ad did not work you might have to look into it what happened there okay cool so this is the password that got generated so let's try logging in So I think to be do, we do need to uh, enclose this inside the hash function. So what we could do here, yeah. So inside this password, I can say hash h mark no bcrypt. Okay, so let's try this out one more time. and yeah and let's go back to the partners account overview select store and then go install app and then go install and here we are if I do this now our password is in encrypted and we have the store ID and we have the email so let's try this out let's get the randomly generated password so I do realize that in this case I can get the password from the logs but in a real scenario we should send them an email informing them that these are your credentials yeah so here we are at the home page okay so for sending the email what we could do we could simply add um, the mail functionality here yeah we can take the first mail to we can do shop details email yeah so we can simply check Laravel mail send example it's set for 7 but you will change that for 8 I think the function is uh, pretty much standard so we can say php artisan make mail install complete so we can do that and after that inside it we can put whatever code we want I think the subject and the view file these need to be designed the view file needs to be designed so here the design is and we can do this
send the credentials to the registered email address on Shopify. Then we could do shop details email and we can send new install complete and we can send inside this the user payload and we can send the random password so after that what we could do is we could take the output of this function to this variable and we can invoke the mark email as verified function right here so this will mark it verified in the database and i have commented out the mail functionality here but you can uncomment it and build your own okay after that so we did the session part here so i don't want to do this right uh, right here so i will take this and i will do that here so let's flash the session here and we can also say that uh, has completed and the credentials have been sent to shop sorry, shop details email yeah this should be good and in the login screen so let's do app.blade so here is the html that gets placed around everywhere so when we do this main class by phone okay so let's go to login.blade yeah so here it is so after this container uh, we have a card so in this let's just do this dot row and inside I'm sorry if session has success then I can say and this right here so we can take a row element and inside that we can take the call 12 element and inside that we can take an h4 element and we can just print out session get success and after that we can clear it out oh i'm sorry we don't need to clear it out because it is a flash function we are using so it will get invoked only once so let's do this right here okay so account let's click my double cap let's click select store then we can say install Yeah, then let's hit install. Yeah, so here it says installation for this completed and the credentials have been sent here. So you can just see the login. Yeah, so this covers up our entire completion for the Shopify app. If you stuck around till this long, uh, thank you very much and consider subscribing to my channel if you want more videos like this where I will continue on my roadmap. Thank you.